On a recent video, I demoed a TQ6 throttle from Virtual Fly that had detents for the throttle mixture and prop. And I thought this is a very cool to use with X Plane 11 now that it has uh, the ability to uh, put that into the throttle uh, profiles. But uh, I also have a couple of these uh, Satec th very ubiquitous uh, throttles that are uh, available in. I thought, wouldn't it be nice to have some detents for that? So I started tinkering around with uh, my uh, Tinkercad and came up with uh, this little model here. What this is, is two two pieces. One is uh, uh, fits over the throttle, you take the knob off and slide it down. And the other is a little block, and that block uh, has a slope so that when you move the throttle up from idle, or from cut off or reverse, it can lift itself over and when you pull it back from uh, up from the high power setting back to idle uh, it catches on the uh, the little ramp. I'll show you how that works in a minute but the beauty is there's no springs involved gravity does all the work and uh, it's fairly easy to install. Now the installation requires just three holes to be drilled uh, so that the throttle when it is against the stop is where you want it. I put it at the 20 about the 25 percent point so I have a quarter of the throttle for reverse and beyond uh, reverse operation and about uh, three quarters for forward operation. Just install that little block into the hole. The beauty is you don't really do much to your throttle. It's still usable. Just going to have three new holes there. If you decided to not use this you could always remove those. Uh, screw those, those uh, blocks in with a uh, M3 screw kind of threads itself in with the correct hole size and then uh, install three of those. As you can see uh, when it comes down it catches and uh, gives you that detent. Now once you have all three of those installed I can demonstrate how it works. Let's get all three of those on there and aligned. It's really not that critical but it's nice to have the throttles lined up. Oops, let's get that lined up here. But once they're once they're all lined up uh, and fastened down, and you could put a little uh, a little silicone under there if you wanted to make them even more secure, but I find that a single screw does just great. You can see uh, the, because of the slope, it can move f forward without any any effort to pull the the uh, knob, but you have to pull up the lever to get it to move down. Now here I demonstrate this uh, with the knobs back on the throttles. You can see uh, they catch the the detent and then just pop up, pulling up on that and it falls back down with gravity so there's no reason for any springs or anything complicated and they all work quite nicely very smooth operation down pops right back up I'll give you a close-up of the operation actually from the other side you can see um, how that little uh, piece just fits right over the throttle shaft you just pull the knob off and slide it down and uh, as you come over that detent it pops right up due to the slope and uh, when you pull it back it catches so that you have a definite detent that you have to get over. Now let's look at this at operation in the simulator. So here we are in the default 737 in X-Plane 11.3 where we can now edit the uh, control curves for all the flight controls and introduce uh, detents for uh, reverse, cutoff, and, uh, and prop feather. Now when we look at the performance curves, there's two scales. Across the bottom is the actual position of the throttle and the vertical scale here, we'll show you this in just a second, the vertical scale here shows you the uh, equivalent input. In other words, if the throttle uh, was at the position on the left, that's what input you would get. So as we, as we switch to the linear, you can see it's a one-for-one one ratio there. And as we edit that, we can change that. Now I'm going to click uh, to add the reverse detent for throttle number one by clicking here. And you can see it has a beta range and an idle. The idle starts at the top of the beta. I'm going to pull that back to where the throttle is as it's attached to the detent there. 
and they're going to put the uh, beta range just slightly below that because this is a jet it's really not much beta range okay now we'll uh, move that throttle and you can see it correlates to the throttle position there's a maximum back down to the detent where it's at idle and if we pull the uh, lever now the reverse levers come up and they're modulated as we move the throttle back through that last quarter range so we have uh, the detent catching at the idle detent when we go below that by pulling the little tab up we can modulate the reverse using the la bottom quarter of the range so let's look at uh, throttle uh, number two now which I've uh, you know changed the knob on that so that it's no longer the prop and we're calling it throttle like we would for a two engine jet and you can see there again that little the blue cross hairs are moving up and down that one to one curve and uh, now we're going to go ahead and move the, uh, the idle point back to the detent and then we're going to bring the beta up. I just put it a little bit after that so there's no, no question that it's aft of the idle point. And here we can try that again. As we move the throttle up and back and the reverser up. So now we have fully modulated reverse and forward thrust and we have it on a $50 Satec versus a $700 TQ6. Obviously, not the same quality, but here you can see the engine instruments responding to, to the inputs in the forward thrust. Uh, you know, you, they say you get what you pay for, and this is certainly not the same quality. That there's a little jitter in some of the potentiometers in this, but still, I think it adds something and for a very, very inexpensive upgrade to your throttle system to have those detents added. I printed those on my 3D printer uh, and it takes about uh, oh, it takes about 20 to 25 minutes. I thought, let's say I can do three in about an hour, so about 20, 20 minutes to print that on my Cetus 3D printer. A real believer in the Cetus 3D printer. Anyway, So there you have it, uh, I think a pretty inexpensive way to introduce a little bit more functionality to a, the ubiquitous uh, Satec throttle that's out there almost everywhere, almost everybody owns one. Not sure what I'm going to do with it, I, I don't know if I should just make the, the uh, 3D printing available or maybe we could get a Kickstarter together and, uh, and get some molds made and actually make these of injected molded plastic because there is some... Uh, some sand, a little bit of sanding re, in, uh, involved, and uh, we could um, probably make it a little easier. Maybe even a little uh, jig to help install the the holes in the right spot. So uh, I'd be interested in your comments. If you have any ideas how to make it better, I'd also like to know that uh, and what kind of interest there is. Be sure to share this with friends, fellow simmers. Uh, this would work also with uh, prepared and uh, and uh, FSX also. But uh, I find it, uh, uh, because I'm an X-Plane guy, uh, the main thing I was looking for is an alternative to, uh, to an, uh, in my second sim. I, I run a, a sim that has the very good virtual fly equipment, and then I got a second sim that I used with an Oculus Rift for VR flying, and that's where my older equipment is. So I wanted to add the uh, cutoff and uh, other detents just to make it a little more useful. And I thought I'd share it with you. Be sure to like, subscribe, and, uh, and let me know what you think. Thanks.